Hey, in this next demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to make block number nine using Onshape. So the first thing we want to do is look at this object and, and decide what the dimensions are going to be. Each square is equal to one quarter of an inch. So the overall length of the shape in the front is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. Nine squares would equal 2.25 inches. And it's one, two, three, four squares wide, which would equal one inch. So I'm going to start with a base that's that size, and then I'm going to extrude it up one, two, three, four, five, six squares, which would be equal to an inch and a half. Okay, so now we're at the workspace in on shape. I'm going to start a new sketch in the top view. I'm going to look down on the top, and I'm going to draw a rectangle that is 2.25 long by 1 inch wide. And now I'm going to choose to look at the camera in isometric view, and I'm going to extrude this at a distance of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which would be an inch and a half. 1.5 and hit and green check mark so it finalizes that sketch. Now, this back edge has a radius to it on its curve. And as you can see, the center point of this arc here is a half inch away. So that's a half inch radius on this curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fillet tool. Fillet. It's already set to a half inch. If it's not on yours, make sure you set it to 0.5. And then I'm going to select this back edge here. That's my half inch radius curve. And I'm going to hit the green check mark. Okay. Now the next thing to do is start a new sketch on the front of the surface. Now let's go back and look at the picture. So the next thing to do is to create this arc in the front. Okay. And if you want to follow this line up, it ends up being in this intersection here. It's three quarters of an inch in radius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an arc that follows a line. So I'm going to make a line that measures three quarters of an inch in this direction. Fix that 0.75. Okay, and I'm going to make another line that extends down here. Oops, not that way. Right from this intersection here, down 0.75. Okay, now I'm going to create an arc that extends from this point to this point, and the radius would be, again, 0.75. Okay, now I can click the green check mark, select this area, and extrude that through on a removal of one inch. Hit the green check mark, and that's completed. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next one.